Okay, before I start the review, I'm, I have to say this. That Tilsey damn um, in that damn um, song, what, Tilsey, Tilsey Night or something like that? I got a dollar that shit they put on my phone. I need that song. Honestly, I really need that song. But, um, wow, this episode. But, oh, oh, oh wait, 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 before you start, happy Halloween, happy Halloween, everybody, happy Halloween. Um, this is a, a Kabuto heavy episode, just explaining his flat, well, okay, for one, it's flashback. To you get to know a little bit of the history of Kabuto. You know that his mother was a spy, and um, basically Donzo and, and um, Leaf wanted him her to do some type of some type of missing. And while you see how Kabuto met Orochimaru, he was healing him, and Orochimaru interested him, interested in him day one, and then Kabuto ended up becoming a ninja. And he became a, the super spy. I mean, he was like such a good uh, spy, like ridiculous. It got to the point where he was in, he was like in every type of villas, like every um, he was like like a master of all disguise. He went every villain and all intel's about everybody. He ended up knowing so much to the point where they sent his own mother to assassinate him, and he took her out, and he realized who she was. And he tried to heal her, but he somehow forgot who he was due to, I don't know, like, um, I guess he got brainwashed to the point where he thought he was alive and they made some type of, a whole lot of different damn images of him. And she just solely but solely forgot about him. And um, they both became like the most ultimate spies or whatnot. Shows that Rosie Murrow tried to get him on his team day one, and he's solely but solely manipulated um, Kaito and joined and joined him to his team. Where Kaito actually snapped, and he went completely bananas on Rosie Murrow and started cutting him up. But you know how Rosie Murrow being completely overpowered, it just came out of his own mouth and respawned himself. The damn snake just don't die. I mean, out of all, I mean, you know, I have to say that Jiraiya the strongest out of all the Sani. I mean, he did due to his sage mode, but um, Orochimaru, he got the most durability due to the point that he just would not die. I mean, a lot of people. Oh wait, wait, I can't, I can't just say that. Wow, I watched the manga. I mean, I read the manga. I can't just say what I'm about to say, but um, yeah, this was pretty decent decent chapter. You just learn more about the villain. So we know what happened when you learn more about a villain past. You usually end up dying pretty soon. That That's the trend for all these song and uh, animes. That we get a flashback while you find a villain. Oh, he gonna die. It's just inevitable. Man, you know, pretty decent. Like I said, pretty decent chapter. It, it was it not chapter, bro. Very decent episode. It's just uh, I just hate flashbacks episodes. I mean, damn. I mean, I, I'm all for a plot for us as a character development, but why now? We could have learned more about Kabuto some other damn time. But, um, tell what you guys think. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I was just reading Fairy Tale, and, you know, I just saw how, you know, I just saw the whole tournament, the end of the tournament, and what happened next. I think I'm on chapter three. 30, I think 331 right now. Like I said on my other video, I think my Beyond the Boundary Builder video, if that motherfucker upload, I'm quite sure it will be processed for like a whole day. Man, fucked up my Naruto manga review. Pissed me off. It took the next day in the morning time for that bitch to upload. Fucking YouTube. But anyway, I started on, I think, 297. I'm on 331. No, 332. You know, once once I just sit here and look at fairy tale, where I read fairy tale, the manga is pretty perverted. I mean, god damn it, Ninchi, the fan service. Oh my god. However, I'm not.
I'm not one to complain of perfect gigantic titties or a nice round cell like a light round perfect ass. But come on man. The way Lucy just shot toward Nazi butt naked and titty tackled him. Speaking of titty tackle, man, that nigga Kabuto just cut mother titty just right across her titty. Damn. That is not the way the titty fucker want me. Kabuto, you did it all wrong. But anyway, yeah, uh, fairy tale, the fairy tale review is gonna be up, the manga review is gonna be up, and um, what else I'm gonna put up there? I don't try to read Bleach. Like I said, I stopped watching Bleach after the, the whole full blame and that Kenji and all the other bullshit. Cause I feel that Bleach should have ended where they beat uh, Ice and I thought it should have ended right there. But, hey, I heard from a lot of my friends that the Holy War is pretty fucking epic. And they said that you still get back in Bleach. If you look at Naruto, you could, you could look at Bleach. I, I'm 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 going to give it a shot. I'm going to read Bleach. I don't care about the fairy tale. The fairy tale had caught my interest. This shit is badass. I don't even know why they canceled the anime, but this shit is badass. It's just perverted as fuck. I mean, there is so much fan service that we can get. I mean, damn. Okay, we know Lucy got some big ass titties. We know that Earth got big ass titties. Stop flying them to us. I mean, shit, it's like, it like you eating the same food over and over again. Eventually, you're going to get tired of eating that food. That's the same thing that go with women. Might, might, might explain why men cheat a lot. She getting tired of eating the same. But anyway, uh, make sure you guys like, comment. I'm just kidding, ladies. Do not kill me for that. But anyway, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And it's a long-ass video. And I've got a pretty off topic due to Kabuto that I killed. Two, I don't give two fuss about, but anyway, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.